Hello everyone. Tonight we are going to do another cooking video and Kurt is going to show you guys how to make the best fish cakes ever. So here's just a quick shot of everything you'll need. We are using um, walleye that we caught in the Detroit River. Um, so I'll put everything down below, all the measurements and everything, but um, Keep watching. Alright awesome. right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut up all of our vegetables. Um, and for this recipe we're using um, orange and red pepper, um, onion, celery, and green onion. So we're going to chop these all up pretty finely and then we are going to take our fish and we are going to boil it for a little while. Okay guys, so we got all of our veggies chopped up. So we went ahead and put our fish in the pan and we're gonna boil that for a little bit. Now we're going to heat up a pan with just a little bit of oil on the stove and we're actually gonna just kind of saute our vegetables um, real quick while our fish is boiling. And we're also going to toss them with some seasoning before we put them in the pan. Oh yeah guys, take a look at those beautiful veggies. Look how colorful they are. Get a nice little saute on them. Make sure that while your veggies are on the stove sizzling, you add your cayenne pepper, salt and pepper to taste, and then also go ahead and mix your uh, garlic in and just let it sit for a couple minutes. That's just going to help build up the flavor. So now while our vegetables are on the stove, we're just taking our boiled walleye out and we're going to set it on a plate for now. Let it cool down. Let it cool down a little bit, and then we're going to actually shred it to put in our uh, fish cake. Look at that. That looks good. It's already starting to flake. It's already apart. starting to be real flaky, which is what we want. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you want to mix your Worcestershire sauce, your mayo, and your hot sauce together. This is just going to be like a little... Um, a sauce that's going to go in your crab cakes just to help really bring that flavor out. Okay guys, now you're going to chop up some of your green onion and we're going to take our chopped green onion, our Parmesan cheese, our Dijon mustard, a little bit of lemon juice, and our walleye and we're going to put it all in our large mixing bowl. Go, and we're going to take our Parmesan cheese. I don't know how much to put in that. We are adding our Parmesan, our Dijon mustard, and our lemon juice to our chopped green onions and our boiled walleye. Uh, we put this all in a large mixing bowl. I'm going to mix it all up and start shredding the walleye. Dijon mustard. And our lemon The kitchen already smells amazing. This is very aromatic. Those veggies really are gonna make your whole house smell really yummy. Get you ready for dinner. Mix it all up. You'll see the fish is already super flaky, so it's already gonna start to shred all by itself just while you're mixing. Smells good, doesn't it? Smells pretty strong. So now that we have our green onion, walleye, parmesan cheese mixture combined, we are going to take the um, 
mayo mixture that we made up with the hot sauce and we are going to start to fold that in and then we're going to fold in our panko breadcrumbs. Here's our mayo mixture. I'm going to fold that in and mix that all up in there. And then we're going to take our panko breadcrumbs and start to work that in our mixture. Panko is our binding agent that's going to hold all this together into perfect little fish cakes. Once you get the panko stirred in, you're gonna go ahead and add your sauteed vegetables. It looks so good. And start to mix that all up. If it's still kind of wet and seems like it's not quite that right consistency yet to shape into a patty form, go ahead and add some more panko. looks like a fish cake. All right, now we, that we have our mixture all mixed, we are going to go ahead and set up our dredging station because we are gonna fry these fish cakes. So just go ahead and take your flour, some salt and pepper, um, mix it all up on a plate. This is gonna be our dry dredge for our fish cake. Focused. Yeah. Right, and then in a separate bowl, we are going to take our egg and crack that. That's going to be our wet batter for our fish cake.
Okay, once you get your crab cake formed, and you're gonna dip it in a little bit more panko, and then you're gonna bring it on over to your pan on the stove that has some hot oil, and we're going to let it cook for a few minutes. We want that golden brown color. All right, after you flip your walleye cake and you get that nice golden brown color, go ahead and take it out of the pan. And there you go, guys. Ultimate fish cakes. Serve with tartar sauce, and we're going to have it with french fries. So thanks for watching, guys. Let us know if you make this recipe, how it turned out for you. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.